Hello and welcome to our channel. First of all, we want to thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. We're passionate about sharing our thoughts on books, movies, and other topics that we think will be of interest to you. Before we begin, we wanted to take a moment to express our gratitude for your continued support. We appreciate each and every one of you who takes the time to watch our videos, and we hope that you find them informative and engaging. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest content. Today, we'll be discussing the iconic book, A Brief History of Time, by Stephen Hawking. He was one of the most influential and celebrated physicists of the modern era. Born in Oxford, England, in 1942, he showed an early aptitude for science and mathematics and went on to study physics at Oxford University. He later pursued graduate studies at Cambridge University, where he earned a PhD in cosmology. Hawking's contributions to the field of physics were significant and groundbreaking. His research on black holes and the origins of the universe revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, and he was widely regarded as one of the most brilliant scientific minds of his generation. Despite being diagnosed with ALS, a debilitating neurological disease, at the age of 21, Hawking continued to work and make important contributions to the field of physics throughout his life. He was known for his sharp wit and his ability to communicate complex scientific ideas in a way that was accessible to a wide audience. In addition to his scientific work, Hawking was also an accomplished author and lecturer. He wrote several popular science books, including, A Brief History of Time, which has sold millions of copies worldwide and has been translated into over 40 languages. He also gave numerous public lectures and made many television appearances, helping to make science more accessible and engaging to the general public. Hawking's contributions to science and his ability to communicate complex ideas to a broad audience have had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe and our place within it. He will always be remembered as one of the greatest scientific minds of our time. Hawking presents complex concepts in a clear and accessible manner, using analogies and examples to help readers understand even the most abstract ideas. His writing style is engaging and thought-provoking, making this book a must-read for anyone interested in science, philosophy, or the mysteries of the universe. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we explore one of the most fascinating books ever written by one of the most brilliant minds of our time. Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time is a fascinating exploration of some of the most fundamental questions of the universe, such as the origin and nature of the universe, the structure of space and time, the possibility of time travel, the search for a unified theory, and the limits of human understanding. The book begins with a discussion of the nature of time and space, and the history of our understanding of these concepts. Hawking explains how our modern understanding of space and time is the result of centuries of scientific inquiry and experimentation, and he introduces readers to some of the key concepts and theories that have shaped our understanding of the universe. The next section of the book delves into the origins of the universe, discussing the Big Bang theory and the evidence that supports it. Hawking explains how the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, and how it has expanded and evolved over billions of years. The book then explores some of the key features of the universe, such as black holes, the curvature of space, and the possibility of multiple universes. Hawking explains how black holes are formed and how they affect the space around them, and he discusses the concept of the event horizon, the point of no return beyond which nothing can escape a black hole's gravity. The final section of the book focuses on the search for a unified theory of physics, which would explain all of the fundamental forces and particles of the universe. Hawking discusses the challenges involved in this search, including the conflict between general relativity and quantum mechanics, and the difficulty of testing theories at the highest energies. Throughout the book, Hawking presents complex concepts and theories in a clear and accessible manner, using analogies and examples to help readers understand even the most abstract ideas. He also addresses some of the philosophical implications of these theories, such as the possibility of determinism and the role of God in the universe. We hope you found this video informative and enjoyable. If you did find this video useful, we kindly request that you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Your support helps us continue to create valuable content for our audience. We also encourage you to leave a comment down below with your favorite books, so we can bring you more content related to your interests in the future. In conclusion, A Brief History of Time is a truly remarkable book that explores some of the most fundamental questions about the universe. Through his clear and accessible writing style, Stephen Hawking was able to share his vast knowledge of cosmology and physics with readers from all backgrounds. 
Hawking's legacy continues to inspire and challenge us to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. We hope this video has encouraged you to dive deeper into the mysteries of science and the cosmos, and we look forward to bringing you more engaging content in the future. Thank you again for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.